G'day folks, well we're back after a forced hiatus of a few weeks, we're back with the Brothers Weekly Wrap, all thanks to our video man uh, back from his long term injury Mr Chris Williams, welcome back Buff. Uh, but we get underway with this week following uh, our traditional rivals clash against Kangaroos. Uh, Across three grades, unfortunately no game for the second division side. Uh, they've only got five teams in their comps, so thankfully they're short of a, a finals berth, but it means that they don't get to play all that regularly. Uh, on the weekend though, we're under 19s, got the seniors day underway with a 20 points to 16 victory against a pretty committed and inspired Kangaroos outfit. Uh, our second half of that game was far better than the first half. Uh, it's probably a bit of a habit that our side needs to get out of, especially as we get into the pointy end of the season. In the reserve grade clash, again started pretty slow and went to the half time break uh, fairly well level pegging before coming out in the second half and really blowing Roos off the park to run out eventual 44 points to 18 winners. Uh, a couple of good performers on the day were Johnson Roy in the middle and, and Trey Hodge uh, a little bit wider but uh, the best on the paddock was probably Jairel Hodge in the halves setting up a, a pretty commanding eight tries to three win on the day so congratulations fellas. That sees them Skip back to the top of the ladder, uh, sitting in first position. Remarkably, there's only one, uh, sorry, two competition points separating first and sixth in the reserve grade competition. So the next few weeks, uh, a, a lot of placings are going to hinge on those results. So keep an eye on that one. Moving into the A grade clash, uh, we get away with a 42 points to 14 victory. Pretty convincing in the end, and we always seem to be fairly well in control of the match, skipping away to a pretty early 18 points to nil lead, uh, but in typical Rue Boy fashion, they didn't ever throw the uh, throw the towel in and they competed right to that final whistle. Uh, on the day though, uh, the two child boys, Evan and Corey, were fantastic uh, in the butcher stripes. Evan's come a, a hell of a long way throughout this season, improving each game, and Corey is one of the few 80 minute props in the game at the moment, and he's a very skillful big man. Uh, it was also great to see Janico Hardwick back on the paddock after a, a few weeks out with injury. Uh, and Peter Takandigi scoring probably one of the best individual tries you'll see of the season. Probably had a bit of super glue on his hands, but uh, he did it the hard way, but he got across a stripe in the end in what was a really great individual effort, so well done to Tux. That's us see our A-grade side sitting in fourth, uh, but within striking distance is second place. Uh, Mariba Gladiator sitting in second, who we play this week up in Mariba, up at Davies Park, Saturday night. Uh, the winner of that game, uh, if we can get over the top of them, we follow up with the bye and then Edmonton. So we're a big chance of, of potentially moving a couple of spots up on the ladder, uh, but a loss to Mariba this weekend will uh, certainly temper those ambitions. On the weekend though, it was the reunion day and it was fantastic to see uh, former players, team staff and supporters from all around the country fly in for what has quickly become a, an event on the calendar to make sure that we circle each, each year. We got off to an early start with our under sixes playing all the way through to that A grade game there on Saturday so it was a, a bit of a fish fest all against uh, Kangaroos. The match also marked the return of Peter Tognolini, who's been out for a long, a long stint actually this time on the sidelines through injury. Uh, and the game was also started with a, a mark of respect for Peter and, and halfback Gabriel Tognolini's grandmother Maureen, who sadly passed away last week. So in closing guys, if you've got no plans Saturday evening, head up the hill to what should be a really cracking game of football as we take on the Gators at the graveyard. Fingers crossed we put our best foot forward and come away with the result. Until next week, go the fish. <laughs>